everybody and I'm back with Mix Daily Trade and let's go everybody. How are you doing? Welcome back. Which I didn't hear. Mix Daily Trade. Okay, I'm here, 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 here. Mm -hmm. Okay, move sleep. Hi Karma, how you doing? How are you? No way, okay. Black flagged. Didn't get flagged, but they flagged. Oh boy. Hi Marco, how you doing guys? How are you? Good today and nice. Okay, nice to hear that you are good guys. So Karmar, yesterday Bayern got smashed, you know. <laughs> not uh, not not how you want it. I mean, almost the same score, but uh, the Bayern didn't smash. They got smashed. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Bishop B four. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I don't remember. Ah, makes sense, yeah. That happens, that happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. It looks like yeah. Okay, white. Okay, white. Flag, white flagged black. Uh huh. Wait. Oh, mate. Funny, 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 funny. Uh -huh. My prediction of seven one was why I'm playing at home. So ah, okay, okay, makes sense. Yeah, they still have chance. <laughs> Planes crock Hanekovs. Hello, good luck, Sky. So, my dinner, and he'll log in today. Interesting. Okay. No, but didn't you say like Bayern will win 4 nil or something? I think you said that, didn't you? I think you said that. Don't maybe I'm wrong. Sorry if I am. But I don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> I think you did. Okay, so it goes B6. Yeah, quite common, I guess. Castle. I said 7 1. Ah, okay. The, the, who, who said 4 nil then? I remember there was like somebody who said 4 nil for sure. But I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm goofing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he castles. Did actually Manus per se for nil? I don't know. But I remember something was for nil. I don't know exactly what what. Yeah. Doesn't matter, I guess now. Uh Castle, I can probably play this. So if he takes, I take. And go to this, I take, and then this, take. Yeah, okay, so he plays here. Let's play rook d1.
Yeah, so basically like Rudy one just playing peacefully right now. Currently. No, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Okay, this. Yeah, seems like BC Bishop B2 looks good actually. If this I can probably take, take it, and seems like that. Yeah. Looks fine. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <sighs> yeah, so B3 just like developing right now. Move 12. He already saw for 3 minutes, so I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> don't mind much. I mean, 2 minutes, I'm sorry. Yeah, so for 2 minutes. Uh. Okay, boss here. Yeah. All right. Okay, here I take. And queen c7, interesting. So do you play like knight f6, push my bishop and like c5. I guess that works as well. Hmm. It looks like knight f6, and then like c5 probably. So I can just return my bishop and if that play like ninety five or something. Or bishop P3, I'm not sure. Hmm. <sighs> or or I can play or that looks also quite good. Queen E2, knight of six, bishop c two, and c five the, yeah, let's try queen e two and this. So if bishop c2 and the knight is protected, it looks quite cool actually, like that. Okay, here let's play bishop c2. Okay. Looks quite good. And just to open it, so like, not, not, not many things happen, so. I think it's way too early to judge <laughs> whether it's good or not good, but yeah, so far it looks fine. Uh, yeah, I don't know, like, Bishop E2 looks okay, just continue in the development. And here, I can perhaps take but I'm thinking of h3, and if take, 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 I'm good, and if like queen c6, I mean I have d5, and if take, I can probably take knight d4 like that, pretty much. Yeah, hi panda. Oh wow, that's an interesting move. <laughs> knight h5. Putting the knight on the rim. Hmm. Quite unusual to be honest, but interesting for sure. Wow. Hold on, but wait, can't I? Play d5, per if this queen e4, f of like queen e3, this bishop here. And if that, that I take, and if he takes, I take and take queen e4 mate threat, I attack the rook, and if knight f6, I just take. If take, 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 I have queen d3 straight in mate, and yeah, let's try d5. Looks quite interesting. It's like close the position and try to attack, because like, knight on h5 isn't doing so much. Okay, takes. Hmm. Maybe should have been like okay now he goes here. Ha uh ha. -huh. Interesting. Alright, queen e4. 
probably f5, like queen e3, if this I have queen e6 and like knight e, oh yeah, that looks just good, uh, queen e4, if g6, then of course I should be five and I'm winning. Now f5, now queen e3 looks good, if like bishop d5 or rook d5 should be fine, and if knight d5 I have queen e6, king e7, bishop f5, and king h8, queen e6 mate, so queen e3. I'm sure about the position rising up to bishop d6 though, looks fine though, like knight e5 I guess, should be good. <coughs> Okay, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see, but it's getting spicy. Wait, F, B, F, 6. And that doesn't work. Yeah, so it's like this, but this, queen of 4, yes, rook d1 with check, and he gets my queen. <coughs> hmm, interesting. <laughs> Definitely interesting. Hmm. Hmm. The position is really fun, not gonna lie. <laughs> hey Andy, how are you doing? What's up? How are you? Take take d6 is tempting, you know. After rook dd6, I don't know. It is so called. Oof, what is the temperature? What is the temperature? Uh, I think I'll take. I don't know what else to do. d6. Ah, that's right. Let's go for content! Let's go! Six. Oof. Well, I is really cold. Oh my goodness. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. I'm not sure why not that rook. Oh, missing something. Hold on. If queen f4, there is rook d1, rook d1, rook d1. So that isn't good. So like the only thing I'm pretty sure I have left is like takes. Yeah. And it takes with the queen. Hey, Markar. <laughs> If rook d1, there is knight d5 for him. Hey Johnny, and hi Shahopa. How are you doing, everybody? Knight rook d1, yes, knight d5. I mean, I guess I have queen d3 there. They need to take f5, but then like rook f8, and I'm not sure. Huh. Interesting. And probably that doesn't work because of queen f6. I'll play rook d1. Yes, this guy's playing pretty well. Yeah, knight d5. <coughs> mm -hmm. I was thinking like queen d3 attacking that. Let's try that. I mean, if he moves like the queen, I take, 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 it should be fine. Okay, but he plays g6. Okay, makes sense. Protecting the pawn. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Kind of need to hurry up, I guess. <laughs> Still isn't a huge problem now, but it can be in the near future, though. Hmm. <laughs> it looks like I'm just a pawn down, though. <laughs> Hi, Shah. Opa, how are you doing? Mm. I don't know what to play actually. Yeah, that's a little pleasant position. Mm. Okay, let's play Queen D2. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
king g7 most likely and queen f4 doesn't work knight f4 doesn't work i just take queen h6 h6 hangs so it's either this probably or like h5 i don't know uh yeah we'll see okay king h7 interesting uh-huh now let's get control over the e file Basically, idea if he moves like the knight, I take and rook e7, rook b7, rook e7, it should be good. Okay, please, queen of six. Um huh. Um huh. And I b4 is an idea now. It's unfortunate and unpleasant at the same time. Hmm. Hold on. Yeah, I'll probably go here. Just like the knight doesn't attack the bishop. I mean, you can't play knight f3, but then I have queen f4 with some activity. Okay. Here? Ah, oh, that's a weird move, actually. <laughs> it's quite interesting. What if I just play knight e5? Okay, it is also possible. Knight e5, this is this. I'm playing 95, I don't know. Gotta try to create something active, you know. Yeah, like rook e7, I think f4. Then see what else. Yes, this, let's go f4. If take, I take. If g5, then I don't know, like knight g4 should work. So, like, creating some activity. Let's go. Let's keep it up. But, like, I'm still not. Whoa, he actually goes for that. Doesn't a g4 work? Interesting. I don't know, Jeeva looks good. Right, I'll go for it. I'd... Oh! Oh! I blundered Queen d4. Yeah, I shouldn't have thought more. I... Yeah, I blundered Queen d4, okay. Uh, uh, g4, g4 was actually a great move then. Wow. Yeah, Queen d4. Well, oh, wait a second. I mean, yeah, I'll be some material down, but hold on. I mean, I take and then take. I mean, I gotta take. And you think about king of g7. It's interesting. Okay, take. Yeah, okay. At least I didn't blunder something huge. Uh huh. What do I play now? h5 is like a really great move, actually. Like, wow. It's so weird. It's probably is the best. I don't know what to play like. Move the knight this, this. And I guess I have to move the knight. I guess, uh, yeah, and I'm loaned. Oh, uh, yeah, knight e3 is just smashing. How, how, hi, Tubelerchik, how are you doing? Yeah, knight e3 is just absolutely smashing. This guy is very good for you straight in. Hi, Salma, I'm doing good, thanks. What about you? Hello, uh, I'm doing good. <laughs> but I'm getting crushed. Kid of six, he didn't even take. Well, wow. or maybe I'm not getting crushed and I'm I'm crushing myself. Okay, let's go king d2, king d3. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, and then he gets like king e5, bishop e6, I guess. Yeah, this guy's very good. Let's carefully check this guy. I mean, yeah, I probably didn't play the best chess as well. You know? Oops, so primo for okay, let's go here. King h3, I take, and like knight e3, and let's just try. I'll just try, I'll just try. Oh, Bishop of 3 is so nasty though. Yeah, Bishop of 3 game over pretty much. Oh, but he doesn't. Okay, King D4. Here is King G3. I mean, I'll just probably like Knight of 5. He may perhaps just play Bishop C8. Oh, he plays King H2. Oh my goodness. This guy's so good. This guy's so good. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'll get my king over. No, but it doesn't work. I mean, it's just as h3. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a play from my opponent. I have to see a berserk. Yeah, I don't like to berserk, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I play normal chess. I mean, yeah. Okay, 95. Can you please play h2, sir? 
I won a knight of three knight two king e five and just hope for a draw there. <laughs> I know it's like lost, absolutely, but it's nice when you have hope, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, this guy spent like two minutes in the opening. And then I'm in Zugzwang after King G2. Ah, yeah, I am. Uwei. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> yeah, King G2 and basically like Bishop F3. Whoa. When you did that? I think it's like I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm sure how it's called. In Pakistanish. I'm not sure. Sorry if I'm wrong though. Now Bishop F3 and I'm game over. Or here. Or this. Ah, okay. Works as well. <laughs> yeah, this guy was way too good. Not gonna hide that. Is Pashto language is spoken in Afghanistan? Pakistan. Alright, cool. Pashto. Noted. Thank you. Yeah, and ladder mate. The name Crocane Cops. Why didn't he take the pawn? Did he must sleep? Oh, is he bring the king? No, but okay. Yeah, this guy was way too good. Way, way too good. Yeah, Queen A, yeah, that's so great technique. B3? Perhaps. Ah, uh, Queen C2. <laughs> I don't know what's tell me. It would be funny, B3! Ah, uh, okay. Let's name Croc and Coughs. Yeah, he struggled a little bit though. But okay. Yeah. Good game, thank you. So I don't know. Yeah, he played a great game. Plays like an yeah. I mean, I I didn't play perfectly though. My suggestion were not to play open and with a question mark. Yeah, maybe I'm not sure. But some people are just like new accounts, you know. Some people with question mark are new accounts and they're actually humans. So yeah, that's like yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, but I just got destroyed. I played open and poorly. No, but like that was insane. Knight h5. Like knight h5 is such an insane move. Like no way. It's actually top one, some. <laughs> no, but literally, 95, okay, C takes D is best by computer, but 95 is second best move. It's so inhuman to put the knight in good, good game, thanks. It's so illogical to put the knight on the rim. I decided to go for an attack, but then he just said F5. After that, he's better. Oh, that was insane. And somehow, yeah, G5, knight G4, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, that's the best game for me, though. That's a fact. It was funny, yeah, like, he sought so much in the opening, like, on move 15 he was already done 3 minutes. And then he was think not thinking about, like, really hard moves. And then he was struggling to win, it was a bit funny. Like, yeah, he couldn't mate me. He sought, like, how to not steal mate. He sought 7 seconds about queen c3. Like, yeah, just play, like, I don't know, queen d3 or any move basically works. And he didn't mate me, he made one, yeah. Yeah, but this guy played very well, not gonna lie. <laughs> and cost a few team points to play 3 0. Good job, Johnny D. Nice. But he lost the game, though. Oh, he was winning all game. How did he blunder? What? Oh my goodness, he blundered. Yeah. Yeah, that looked human. Nil one nil. So okay, I was better. He was better. And here I had the draw. But like okay, h four. It's like so with the idea of h five. It's so hard to buy human. Yeah, good job, good job, Jun D. Yeah, like it's so weird to play h five, h four, and understand that you are drawn. But yeah, this dude played very well. I mean, I also didn't play terribly. You know, like two to one. Like. Ugh. Not too bad, <laughs> but yeah, wasn't good enough to, to win. Yeah, so 2-2-1 two, 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 for me, nil one nil for him as it seems. I mean, I actually played like a really smooth game as well, 94 accuracy. Ew, that's nice, yeah, I mean, 2-2-1 two, two, on 75 moves, not bad, not bad. But he played it even better, you know? Yeah, so the open was good. It's just like weird. You don't see C6, B6, E6 that often. 
B605 felt weird. Yeah, but against Stoker is not enough. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, so here I just had to take, 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 rook d1, just agree on the draw pretty much. But yeah, I decided to push a win. Pretty much I calculate the lines that take, 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 I have queen e4, I'm winning. And if he take, I take, take, and I'm winning. Pretty much, yeah, he won knight f4. And f5, he was, yeah, bishop f6 winning this move. Yeah, he didn't go for rook dd6. I was surprised he, he didn't go for it. Felt so weird. But basically, this is this, and here computer says I'd go for h4, like h5, gh, this, I would have some compensation. But I played rook e1. Then here I'd go g3. I could perhaps still hold that. But I played knight g4, just blowing queen d4. And pretty much, yeah, I was lost after once he got a passer. And he realized very, very well. Yeah, but I played 2 to 1 with 94 accuracy, guys. It's like 3 accuracy lower than him. That was a smooth game as well, not gonna lie. I guess good. Yeah. Let's uh, download roll, roll, roll. Okay. It's analyzed in chess baits. Yeah, root dd6. I know why he didn't play root dd6. It just felt more human, you know. But okay. Mm hmm. Alright. So. So do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Nah, let's start to reference. Reference, yeah, it wasn't really reference up to B6, you know. Hi Adam, how are you doing? Welcome. How are you doing? No reference, please. Okay. Yeah, so it was like fine pretty much until here that well, was a mistake i'm good I'm doing, I'm doing good thanks thanks for asking yeah i had to take stockfish is lagging for me yeah so pretty much i'll do from what i remember like take 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 and that's equal stockfish was oopsie daisy that's not equal here stockfish was lagging for me all day so like i'll do what i remember off my mind so here that was a mistake here go for rook dd6 take queen d6 and he would be better um, and then as far as I can remember, yes, um, I think that was a mistake, but yeah, that was a mistake, I'd go for h4, and queen f6, h5, and it's like equal, uh, with compensation, let's say I'm pawn down, and pretty much, yes, this is this, and then, uh, that was a blunder, I'd go for g3, and then this, take, take, with compensation, because, yeah, after knight g4, queen d4, we traded, and, like, h5 is such a great move in a 93. Hi, Max Walter, how are you doing? Oh, that board color. Oh, does it hurt you, or what? Uh, is it bad or not? I'm sorry if it is. I like it, though. Feels relaxing, and, yeah, basically, went to win. Yeah, my stockfish is lagging, so, like, it takes, like, him 20 seconds to load every single two moves, so, like, you know, uh, yeah, I don't wanna sit here for 30 minutes and like edit the most important topics uh, moments topics of the game so yeah uh bium pow chikau kau chun din pow okay <laughs> oh wow black looks struggling i'm gonna lie reported him okay mm. i mean i play badly you know that's a fact but they played quite well, you know? So, like, I, I definitely could have drew that. If I would just take DC, Rook D8, Rook D1, take, take, like, change everything, it would be like a draw, pretty much. But, like, I decided to play. I play with Blitz, so I have just the right. No, I'm playing Daily Chain, I was playing a rapid game, and I didn't play so well, and I lost, pretty much. So, yeah. Okay. I play like I play like two to one on seventy five moves, which wasn't terrible, but wasn't enough for at least a draw even. Also, the are almost perfect games. Oh, okay, well you never know. Maybe Magnus doesn't play World Championship and he plays here. You know, maybe it's a coincidence. So maybe it's maybe it's Magnus. You know, you never know. It's a good uh, interesting scene about online chess. Yeah.
Magnus and Alt account. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe. You never know. You never know, you know? Like, never, never know. Ooh. Ooh. They just will know then. That's true. But you know, sometimes Magnus people like to plan the disguise. I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah, but he, he played extremely well. Four is rated, and yeah, it was very good from him. It was like very funny how he saw for three minutes in like first 15 moves, which is like basically book all over. And then like he wasn't thinking for the rest of the game. <laughs> it was interesting. Almost sleep. And she was still me. No, no, still me. I know why people cheat because when they play OTB, they will lose so much. Yeah, that's true. Maybe they don't play OTB, you know? That is possible. Maybe they don't play OTB. Also, I can't was great today, which makes it more sus. That's true. That's true. And chess isn't that hard to become good at. Yeah, you just basically need like. At least 10 years of practice. How many chess books, uh, how many chess books did I read? <gasps> I don't know, Zix for chess. A lot, like, I mean, I, I'm not sure if that's a lot, but at least like 20, I'm pretty sure. Playing Ksakatur, at least 20, I'm pretty sure. I, I didn't count like all, but 15 to 20. I think. If a count was made today, he's 99% cheater. Yeah, that's true. But sometimes I played against some guys who are not cheaters. Uh, Leeches didn't ban them, which account was today, so, and yeah, they played well. Can you name the best one for you? Wait, Dvoretsky Senge Manual is the best for, like, let's say, early game, you know? And then, like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Dvore and then my, my system is also very good for starters. Okay. Yeah, 96, and now we got Tarash. D5 is a move there, one move early, but that's fine. Okay, Knight B3. Try it, where is he sending? I guess they just will have their methods to figure out the truth. Yeah, we, we reported it to him, so you just have to, we'll just have to wait. And maybe it was Magnus and then he'll get a GDM title, you know? Or maybe it wasn't Magnus and he will get banned. You, you never know. You'll just have to wait and trust the chess. Let's play Bishop before we say of Bishop d6. Like, pressure him, you know? I just said he's suspicious, then now Yeah, yeah! You you did your job, now you leave it to them. <laughs> also, are you also analyzing games by yourself without an engine? Yeah, not really. Sometimes, but... I mean, yeah, I started to now. This fun, but like, yeah, mostly with engine. Yeah, e5, exactly here, bishop g5, like my d5 ideas. If h6, I can probably take, take knight b6, and then like queen d6. <clears throat> Unless endgames with stockfish, once you get better, learn all theoretical soul positions. I spend a while every day looking at an endgames with stockfish, because a lot of old books... That's, that's actually true. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah. I think I'll play knight d5, take queen d6. It is true, some books are like out of date, let's say. Like, they say it's draw, but it's winning or losing. Yeah, so be careful with reading books as well. There are many auto dates, which is for understandable reasons, of course. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing a lot of tactics? Yep. Yeah. Tactics is very important. Um, okay. How old are you? I'm 13. Huh. Yeah, his idea is e4. I guess it's not that bad, but perhaps I can play like that in queen g6 with some trickies. I'm not sure. How many tactics a day? Oh god. That's a hard question to answer. <laughs> How many years? I think like six years, something. I'll actually probably play that. I don't know why. I really want to, yeah, I think for like six years. Something since 2017, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'll play bishop d5. I really don't want him to play queen b4. Now he has, I don't know. What was my logical then? <laughs> I get distracted. I didn't want him to play rook e6, exactly. There you go. Uh, now let's play c5. 
So like I'm trying to block both his pawns, so his bishop and this rook are stuck. That's impressive. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. So c5. Like he doesn't have rook e6. He doesn't have many stuff. And once you get better, you will need to grind out end games and middle game tactic basics once. Yeah. Won't win any games. I'm not talking. Yeah. 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 I got gotcha. you. Oh. I'm not sure about that move. I mean, I like that for me, but I don't know if that's like best for him. Well, yeah, definitely more than 20. About 5? I'm not sure, I think. Yeah, about 5-ish, soon 6-ish. I mean, 5, 5 and a half. I don't remember. But yeah. <laughs> a lot. Uh, almost half of my life, to be honest, actually. <laughs> Not that I think of it. Yeah, I think I can just probably take, take an mp3. I shouldn't be worse. Yes, e takes d, though. Like as one of the other... Yeah! <laughs> That's true. Oh, wait a second. Oh, a3 is the reason I need two. Yeah. This position is, like, really uncomfortable to play, in my opinion, for black. So, guys, I wouldn't recommend you playing that. But the thing is, it's nice part for him is if knight e4, he has, like, e takes d, and maybe it's good. Um, the x is just, like, yeah, definitely more than 20. Uh, 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 uh. But I don't know the exact amount, you know. <laughs> yeah. I do, yeah, that's impressive. I doing them online. No, from a box, tactics are. Oi, please don't do them, in my opinion. Online tactics, Lee Chess Chesco. Best. The best. The goated. Yeah, that's true, like rookie six. But, like, annoying sin for him, he, like, really cannot sack the bishop, you know? Uh, an exchange, sorry. He, like, really cannot. If rookie six, I just take, and he still has this not the best position. So. Hold on, wait a second. Wait a sec. Hey, what if I play a3, say, yeah? If knight e2, I go king g2, and queen... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Bishop g4, there is really great knight f4. Ah, that's unfortunate. Hey, peculiar state. Hi, hi, Sebastian. How are you doing, guys? I'm doing great, thanks. Yeah, that's unfortunate. a3, knight e2, king g2, queen g4, bf3, knight f4. Otherwise, I would be better. I would get the knight. Yeah, that's like... Mm. Nice, nice question from him. Like, what was my plan? I don't want to take knight d4 and then let him play e takes d because both pawns will hang. And if I play like queen f4, rook f8, the third pawn will hang. It is still bad for him, but more comfortable with that bishop. Yeah, that's true. Travel into the tournament tomorrow. Good luck. We believe in you. You can win it. Let's go. You can win it. Let's go, Sebastian. Guys, hype him up. Wish him luck. Good luck. You can do it for sure. I just don't see a move. That's like a nice for yeah, ninety four is a really great move from ninety four is a really great move for him from him. Like knight of five is another idea of that move. Another thing I'm considering is play that and then after this play queen b six, take 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 and like get the C file. Even if you do anything creating a plan is hard. Yeah, that's true. Alright, I'll play e three. And if this I'll go queen b six, you know? I'll go queen b six, take take rook c one. Maybe it's just a tournament cleaner. What do you mean? Yeah, maybe it'll clear the tournament. Luck will not help. <laughs> Lord God, it will. Oh! The thing I just noticed is after Night of Wife, I just have Queen G6 and I'm winning. So I have this and that. How are you doing, Morgan? Queen G6, if Night of Five. Yeah, yeah, I just found it. Alright, I'll take with a pawn. I mean, position is so comfy here. I don't know, I love it. Maybe I should have taken with the bishop to not double the pawns up, but like really want to get my rook into play. <laughs> Fun! <laughs> yeah, let's go rook a4. Looks nice. He doesn't have queen g6 because I take. And tips how to improve strategy playing positional play. Let me think. You have a white pawn. <laughs> yeah, there's too much. Yeah, that's actually true. Wait! Isn't f four just like a brilliancy? Hold on, and if this... Oh my goodness. <sighs> f four is so nice. Basically, if he takes, I take. And like, triple attack on f seven should be like game over pretty much. I'm hope... I'm, I sure hope so, you know? And like, another good thing, if he doesn't take, and please say that, I have queen he, f takes c, and then bishop f seven, he takes him, just win pretty much. Improve? I mean, I don't know. <sighs> just like... That's actually a good question, Zix with chess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, makes sense, Marco Batman. Wait, I don't know actually how to improve positional play. 
I mean, practice, like play games helps, I guess. Yeah, not I guess, it definitely does help. Um, that is definitely good. Just reach for me too. Yeah, I don't know, but most books are like so outdated now. That's why I don't really recommend reading books. Like, most books are so... I mean, positional play, like, if you want to put like the first, like, let's say, floor of it, my system from Nimzovich, even though it's old, it's really good. So, I recommend that to start up. Then you should be better, of course, pra okay, here it takes E, yes. Pretty much if queen e5, we have seven checks, so yeah, just to go here. It's true, opening books are complete. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> complete, <coughs> yeah, makes sense. Yeah, let's give it a check, so he has to go here. Otherwise, if king h8, then e takes d, rook e3, bishop g6, that's a mating net. Yes, he does go there. Okay, good for him, good for him. I'll take, and have patience with books, no help much. That's another good point, yeah. My system is in my top three list of... Yeah, exactly, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not sure about that. I'm not so sure. I mean, still good thing that his bishop is just stuck here. They're great chess books. They are! But, like, don't learn openings from chess books. Like, please, I just beg you. It is, like, a complete waste of time, in my opinion. Like, they're just so outdated. Say like, say like, I don't know, Queen's Gambit was too popular two years ago. Now it's like completely not popular. Or say like, they added some crazy line, which isn't even mentioned in the book. You're saying, oh wow, I'm so good at that opening. And then w first game you play it, somebody goes for that line which you haven't seen of, which you haven't seen it, and okay, you like lose and move 20. Something that I watched like four years ago and helped a lot, of course, by Dusupov. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I, I didn't check it, but yeah, I'm, yeah. Please tell me why I disagree with what I said. Uh, your message got deleted by Moonbot, so I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot TDM, I, and I'm sorry, I cannot. <laughs> Can I just play this? And if he takes, say take, take rook f8. I mean, I can play rook f8 immediately as well. And that's like a like in Mortal Kombat, like face of finish him pretty much. You just have to find the most precise way, I think, to win. But you said I'm not sure about that. Just good luck in your games. Thanks a lot. This is a trap. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Uh, I don't remember what I said to be honest. I mean, creation chess online school. Let's work with Simon Coach. Yeah, that's good. Um, Rook F8 looks so nice. I actually forgot what I said to I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I'm playing the game, it's kind of hard to remember what I said. Think about the game, you know. Yeah, I think I'll play Rook E4. If you'll take, take, and then Rook F8, and that just looks great. By the way, we have 46 viewers. 47. Wow. I think it's so much. Welcome everybody. Yeah, so I'll take, I'll give a check, and then I'll play rook to f8. And then basically if b6, I take. Like, <laughs> that that was the scene which I was focusing on all game. And guys, look at that. Look at that. Like, the scene I was focusing, stalemate his kid in a rook and bishop, just pays off. Okay, let's give a check. There is so much to learn in strategic things. Like, it's ever evolving, plus even basic AI. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's way too long, let me finish the game. Okay, let's give it a check. If he goes king g4, it's basically like self-mate. Okay, king g2. And like, if king h5, I have... Oh, I'll mate him with a pawn. Nah, this game is goated, guys. Oh my goodness, can you please not resign? Can I please play g4? Please! Don't resign, just make any move. No, He resigned. Oh, man. Ah! It didn't let me finish my brilliant mate idea. Uh, there is so yeah yeah. It's hard. My piece of advice would be to learn how to improve pieces. That's very plus. Learn the time values. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, that's unbelievable. Such a pro no, but that game was like my best one in a while. Look, like I was focusing on trap this rook and bishop for all game, <laughs> and then at the end, the only pieces were left for him the bishop and this, and I basically. <laughs> That's why, guys. Yeah, that was like that was a good example. Nice game, thanks. That was a. Uh oh, oh no, please. 
Please! Okay, I have a fee- Kaimar, don't you dare report me, okay? <laughs> Kaimar, okay. Um, so, uh, let me read. Um, openings, I think, below 1800. Yeah, basically, below 1800, you don't focus much on openings. Most important is just you basically learn tactics and strategical, some strategical stuff, pretty much. Um, most of many players, yeah. Exactly. If you want to learn some opening in like a in like very deeply, chessable, like really great, <laughs> really great. Kaspar talked to us tonight. Was not worth three. Was well, yeah, that's true. Below, they told me I should not blunder open it. Yeah, exactly. Just like get a decent position. Even like minus one, minus two is good. Just be good at tactics, pretty much. Uh, domination is true. Rook and bishop weren't playing. Yeah, exactly. This is worse when opponents do that OTB. Come on. Yeah, exactly. He's like, literally. He has like four, five, six, seven, eight legal moves or something. And it didn't so I practiced lots of tactics with leeches. Where's the base to study strategy? <gasps> Somebody, so, uh, I don't know. Well, I saw you play it, so that's not sus. Okay. And I was talking to chat, so that's even less sus. Yeah. That was like the perfect game. Um. I mean, really good, like, strategy, uh, I'm not sure if that helps you, but, like, sometimes domination, like, uh, yeah, get a coach, coach also sometimes helps until do some, be careful for simple tactics, yes, Le uh, learn some simple tactics, let's say, like, I don't know, mm. like, basically learn some basic forks, like, some puzzle storm, pretty much until you have 2k rating, just do, like, puzzle storm daily, at least five runs a day, improve your tactics, you should be good to go, and don't blunder in the openings, okay? Um, and, like, yeah, sometimes play, yeah, that's, I, I had, like, a super similar game against OTB, actually, against the live opponent, you know, oh, goodness, oh, gosh, secret preparation leaked, oh, no, uh, oh, secret, yeah, this game, uh, so pretty much, as you can see, that was the same position. I can't picture chess with a blunder in pieces. What do I, should I do? What would I do instead? I mean, blunders from your opens are great, but yeah, from you, just try to not blunder. Like, basic, normal, just try to not blunder. I think strategic understanding just comes over time. Yeah, you just play a lot. Yeah, I mean, for strategical improvement, quite not bad is actually um, books. They're not bad. But don't do openings with books, like, chess based and chess able just all classes books by its tone. Um, that's been specific, yeah, exactly. Like, I've gotten draws in lost position because of my rating. Yeah, exactly, that's good. Yeah, 2k overrated sometimes, that's true. Yeah, so basically, guys, you, uh, everybody, look, 50 viewers, wow, welcome everybody. Yeah, so basically, something similar how I didn't think much in the opening of that game, in this game I played. Like, half a year ago I had an OTB tournament game, and then I got the same scene, I couldn't play that, I played G3, he took, took. Yeah, it was a little bit different, but pretty much I just crushed him in 26 moves. Castle, castle. And that was like even the same thematical idea, my idea was like Bishop D6 and I would be great. 95 knight here, and then just look. Just look, c5. I'm already winning pretty much here. Oh my goodness, so many. Wait, let me see. Yeah, uh, I believe we learn more when we study. I signed Cheskin one hour a day and went. That's great. That's nice to hear. What's Cheskin? I haven't heard of it. Is that. I have this tune approach and app. Oh, that's cool. I never heard of it. When you guys are talking regions. Uh, yeah, I, I'm talking about feeder. Because like 2000 leeches is. I mean, in my opinion, simple. You just don't blunder pieces, don't lose from the opening, and tactic. Yeah, basically back to the game. My idea was just like to get piece on d6 square, and then knight h5, this, this, and now look, I'm just totally winning. I'm a pawn up, bishop and knight hank, he played this, this, bishop f6, rook ad1, <laughs> and now look, I played knight c7, and suddenly his rook is stuck here. So, like, that was such a brilliant game. And that's how, yeah, b5, then b4. That was an example of domination. That's uh, from what game I got this inspiration to play that game. And I played knight c6, sucking my knight. He took, took. My idea was to take the bishop. And also rook b1 was a nice idea. He played bishop e 7 and I took that, took that, took that, and I'm just winning. So that was, like, a perfect game. And that's how... I had inspiration. Basically, it's the same idea. Yeah, that's a really safe opening to play. If you don't own G, I see T now, and I just feel old. You grow up so quickly. Glad to see progress. 
Yeah. <laughs> People who are 2k in bullet on leeches and think they are... Yeah, I mean, 2k in leeches, it's, it's actually good. Don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, yeah, it's actually quite nice. But yeah, this game is very great. And I got the inspiration for that game I played today, which was epic as well. So basically, um, do you have a recommendation against D4 for black? Wow, I'm not sure. Uh, you lost open and another... Oh, that was cool. Yeah, he's probably Magnus then. Uh, study and analyze two games, but Phoenix approach. Yeah, that's true. That is true. No, please. No, 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 please. Unless you want to suffer. Don't play Kinsindian. Like, Kinsindian is like, let's say, just so crazy. Please don't play Kinsindian. You just, it's like neither in the world of, in the world of, uh, in the world of uh, D4. So please do not play Kinsindian. I don't know what to say. Probably, in my opinion, the easiest is like you see, Knight of Six, Semislav, Semislav is good, but I struggled, I got like so little space there, so I don't recommend it. Just prefer it, kid. Dig a rating because of kid. Oh, that's, yeah, okay, guys. Yeah, I don't want to be like personal, but like, I love kid, okay. Uh, well, you can, yeah, it's sharp. Depends on your playstyle then. Yeah, that makes sense, guys. Black line will eat everyone. I mean, if you don't want something crazy where you need to know like every single move, just play knight of 6 e6, d5, you should be good to go pretty much. Yeah, a lot of people love kings Indian, but pretty much if your attack doesn't work on king side and you open and get something on queen side, you're just worse. Yeah, so many people love kids. Yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> Hidden Dragon. Yeah, it also depends on your playstyle. Smave, what is your playstyle? Is it positional or is it crazy? Yeah, and some people think Kings Indian is loose instantly. Exactly. I, I really try to avoid it while, while I'm playing with white because now I, I, I just can't force myself remembering all this, 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 this huge files which are like that and this, and then like I remember in that, and then you forget one move and you're lost. I just take and I'm good. Uh, how about Note Boom for black? What's Note Boom? I never heard of it. Um, but the classic nice 6 is trash. Yeah, you need to play like, if you're tactical aggressive let me, like me, play, yeah, okay. Yeah, play Kinsinian if you're aggressive, play like Knight of 6, E6, D5, your position. The problem of kids is why it chooses, exactly, that's the problem. You like have to know many, many variations. And then pretty much there's some lines, where white just gets better position, you have nothing to do about. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now back to the game I have played. I played knight of 3, this, this, and here I played c5, which was an accuracy. Computer likes Benoni, but I played g3. I pretty much saw that he's like 2400 rated, and uh, like, yeah, when you played that, I. I don't know, I just felt like that will work out. Because it's like extremely hard to play for black. And after you play bishop f4 and bishop g5, I just got my queen to d6. I was just great. Or play fast out of control, flag open, that's true. d5, e6, ah, okay. Yeah, no boom isn't bad. No boom is actually quite good. Stonewall isn't terrible as well, if you're very solid. Yeah, no boom is good, but yeah. I don't know, I played as white. I usually, I sometimes get it. And, ah, uh, I don't know. It feels like black is way too passive, but it depends on you. Just play five for nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't like going into Benoni theory. I mean, it's cool. I just really don't like close positions. No, I like to, I, I sometimes play them. I definitely like more strategical ones. Online, they play main lines. We ask me, but they like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Trojan said the kid was, yeah, that's true. <laughs> And it's true. Because, yeah, that's like a really controversial question. If you're like really aggressive, go for Kinsinian. Yeah, just learn lines, but it's crazy, go for it and you're fine. If you're positional, don't go for Kinsinian. Hey, tell me, welcome, how are you doing? I just hate when people play early H4, like in the recent, but he offered a draw and you're winning for imposition because of rating, but other than a kid, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they play viewers. And it's, I'm sometimes playing, but today I'm, yeah, I have daily training. Yeah, and basically here, I learned all the main lines, that's good. I'm the most active. I'm not sure. I think there are more active streamers, but thanks, thanks, and um, yeah, basically 94 was inaccuracy. I saw it for three minutes, and I just like found out. Wait a second. What if I play 93? I was really didn't want to play him to play knight of five, but then there was queen g6, and look at that, guys. I take the knight and the pawn, 
And if he saves the knight, I take that and the rook. And if he saves the pawn, I take the knight. So I was winning. So he had to take. And now queen d5, I want f4. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Let me let me tell you a funny story after the game. And basically, f4, I took. And then look. I was trying to hold this bishop and rook in the cage for whole game. And then eventually, I traded. I got my rook here. You can play b6 because I take. This is this. And then the rook and the bishop is trapped, and the kid is trapped. Uh, GM dropped me time out of the ceiling. Oh, take care, and I'm not... Take care, yeah. It was good to have you here. Take care. Hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, or soon. Yeah. Time out of time out of is great. Time out of is great, but yeah, I just got bored of it, to be honest. Um, and basically, yeah, here, my unstoppable threat is G4. It just can move pawn and mate. So it was like a really perfect game. Um, the fun story was... I was like playing in a blitz tournament with black and I was going good but I had to keep on winning I was in first place I had to keep on winning if I wouldn't win I would fall out um, my open was like a 1700 I'm pretty sure I would describe my style as bad what opens would you recommend I don't know what uh, like do you like more positional or t tactical organ this is a prison warden <laughs> yeah maybe maybe I'm not sure yeah, uh, yeah, and basically the funny story is that it was like, okay, I thought I will play e6, and then like, I don't know, play d5 or something, let's say, yeah, like e6, d5, positionally play, then play quickly, flag my open and win, and that's, I'll be happy. Mm. <laughs> but he told me, yeah, I'm not sure, Marco, that's a sin, like, yeah, some people say like, study. But like you're 1200 rated, I'm equally bad tactics and strategy. The, I don't know, then probably strategical is much easier to learn. Mm, for black or for white organ? Yeah, and basically, Marco Batman, I don't know, just play something, don't go something crazy. Maybe you need to go e5, uh, and yeah, it should be good. And basically, yeah, I saw just to play some peaceful game. And then, yeah, my second place was like half a point behind me. So if I would lose that game, yeah, I would probably lose the tournament. We already played each other both. All right, let me tell you after that. And basically, yeah, I had to win that. What's your rating? Uh, classical 2330. Blitz, yeah, Rapid is terrible. I lost like 40-ish points. So I'm like 2180 or something. Blitz is like 24 something. And, and pretty much, yeah. And you, my opponent, I thought you will play knight of 3 or g3. When you thought g1, I thought, okay, g3, I'll play g4, go Catalan or something. But he played g4. <laughs> and I was in such a shock. I, I, It was so unbelievable, like, you know? Like, he played g4, and I was just, didn't know what to do. I saw on Draken, uh, no, not on Draken, it's a Penko against uh, Mamedyarov, I think. Yeah, in Vacancy. And I was like, well, he probably knows all the main... Hi, John Tengis, how are you doing? Take the chess-based personality test. Yeah, maybe. Um, and pretty much, yeah, and I was like in such a shock, it was like everyone in the 3, three plus 2 bullet, blitz game, and like what, what should I do, should I go like h6 d5, but then you can get g5 and I didn't want to get it crazy, and I apparently took, and oh my goodness, he played like e4, e5, and like I was totally lost I think at one point, I was like a piece up, but my king was so exposed, but then he blonde the queen trade and I won. That was so mind-blowing. But yeah, luckily for me, uh, <laughs> I won that game and I won the tournament. So, that was insane. Um, back to Lorden's question. I think I would recommend playing knight f3 and trying to learn d4, c4 lines, pretty much. Is it Catalan or knight d4, c4, knight c3? Yeah, Grop. Grow up in d4 c4, that was crazy. So play like knight f3, like d4 c4, learn something like that. Uh, that should be good for white. And um, against is black, learn on d4, uh, on d4, learn knight f6, e6, d5, something like that. My coach like red. Yeah, red is nice, though I usually don't play like the red here, red with g3, bishop d2, d3. I usually transform into d4. Why I play that move order and I d4 immediately? C for G3, Bishop G2. Yeah, seems like that. Just go for Catalan Lorgan, pretty much. Yeah, why I don't go for actual uh, red team? I don't know, it's just closed. Uh, but yeah, my I just played D4. And why I yeah, I was playing D4? But I really didn't like Dutch. And here, a really great scene on Knight F3, F5, you have D3. And then E4, and you are good there. So that's why I play Knight F3. And that doesn't change much, so yeah. It's quite good. Yeah, so on D4, play E6. 
and like d5 bishop b7 some safe stuff i play cardinal but i hate studying so much theory yeah i mean cardinal isn't much theory to be honest like pretty much it's a draw unless black blunders usually usually it's just something like that and many times you need to permanently yeah that is what annoying annoys me a bit in catalan i really liked catalan if like say you open a place for normal line right castle castle take take you play queen c2 you take your good i don't like opening theory as well love end games and middle games what hate openings i yeah then play knight c you should be good it should be good it should be quite quite safe yeah, and basically, yeah, Catalan. But that's annoying since some people just take and then they just hold on to that pawn. It's like so hard to get it back, so I don't like it. Uh, that's why I stopped playing Catalan. My coach does not know many opening series, but he sees it. Yeah, that's good. It's nice. I play Catalan, I wait for the draw, but then I run. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Yeah, and basically on E4, I recommend E5. C5 is crazy, if you need to know like anything, but yeah, I recommend playing E5, and pretty much, if you play, if you open and play knight F3, knight C6, that's main line, yeah, DC here, yeah, that's annoying as well, I like, try to learn it, but then, uh, I was like, I'm so done with it, I'm not playing it anytime again, and my coach was 2400, and was written on games, yeah, End games, you need to know end games. Pretty much just try to not lose openings and then play middle games and end games good and that you should be good to go. Yeah, and pretty much if Rail opens, I found some crazy line which is like G7. It's like not that crazy. C3, and you don't you don't play G6, you play A6, and then you play like knight G6. Cosio, which is quite interesting in my opinion. Like not so popular, but it's quite fun. And I like to play that. Mm. So on a roll up, let's play knight g7, a6, knight g6, you should be good. What should I do when my knight f3 spin by bishop g4, he comes, struggles? In what lines am I? I normally, yeah. Yeah, that's a good tell me. It's interesting line. Yeah, it's actually very interesting. I, 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 I never, in my, in my mind, it was always knight g7, g6, bishop g7. But then white gets active play. But here they good. Oh my goodness, I can't close the bottle. Um, one learn all the openings, two learn middle games for each opening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. But pretty much what I like, why I like knight g7 more, it's like less theory. And pretty much uh, when something like that happens, say like here. I won against Jospim yesterday like that, by the way, I think. Yeah. And I'm pretty much you play bishop b7. And uh, like this, you have d6, say this, this, and c5. And there is no e5 pawn and c3 pawn. So it's like normal rail opus, only simplified a bit more. Can you refute the Smith Mora? Oh, it's Miss Mora. How can I refuse the Smith Mora? Oh, goodness. I don't know. So take, take this. I. But, Perhaps just play d5, and you will transform most likely into Alapin. Take, take, knight c6. It's Alapinish stuff, so it should be good. Yeah, and basically, if if Italian, Italian play bishop c5. Ah, knight f6 is fine, I guess. But like, there is knight g5, and like two knights, yeah, there is b5, but if bishop f1, yeah, white is just good, and there is way too much theory. Play bishop c5. Don't fear the Mora. Yeah, Mora, Mora, you can even, you can even take that. And pretty much this, just play Italian, should be good to go. Yeah, don't fear the Mora, you can even take, and then E6, um, this, this, A, e, A6, you should be good. And you can play like that, and you're, you're better with black. Yeah, just learn it a bit more. And another fun sin I had, um, about the Mora uh, stuff. So I was playing with black, uh... I was playing with black. My opponent was usually a d4 player. Oh my goodness, Tokush doesn't load. Well, whatever, I'll probably unload it anyways. Yeah, so I'm usually... D uh, my opponent was a d4 player, but he had e4, and I just forgot he had e4. And then, yeah, when he played e4, c5, he went for Mora. I quickly checked stuff, but the sim was that I messed up the lines. I was good until here, and here it was like so incredibly much, I had to go bishop b5, bishop b7. Uh, but I played knight g6, and here I went for knight d5, with the idea of bishop to b6 winning my queen, I had to take, now queen a5, this, and like I was already very long time because I didn't know what to do, d6, knight h4, and I think somewhere here my opponent was winning, but 
Luckily, okay, if everyone is asking questions, I'll ask the last one. What do you think is the best way for black to get a good position? Oh, Jabawa London isn't that bad. It's like super easy to play, in my opinion. Yeah, basically I was lost, my king is like exposed, but then my opponent just like simplified. And then I got a good position, we are both in time trouble. And apparently, yeah, here I was lost, it was hard to find moves, but here it was drawn. I found knight of 3, I saw a force draw, and the game ended in draw. I had some winning chances, but I had like 30 seconds, and um, yeah, I just had to go for a draw pretty much. Yeah, uh, how to refuse Jabawa in London? This, 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 d5, but before just play c5. Nice recommendations, turns out I've done all of this since, so probably there's no before and just think, <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, I feel bad for Logan. Thanks for 100 bits, 500 bits, I really appreciate it. I calculated the chess results and round 2 I should play. Okay. Yeah, so basically after C5, what are you struggling with, Sebastian? I appreciate the 500 bits, Logan. Thank you so much. Um, after C5, what's your problem? What are you struggling with? <laughs> like, it shouldn't be that bad in my opinion. Jabawa is like so easy to refuse. I mean, not refuse, but like, just don't, don't get bad position. Yeah, meanwhile, let me finally, after half a year, <laughs> I'm just kidding, let me analyze the game against life opening real quick in chess base. So I was with White, Tun Turu, Tun 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 Tun. Um, you know, it's just bad. <laughs> I don't know what to analyze even. Like, slowly but surely, I just get a winning position, you know? I'll just save the game as it is. Like, I just don't know what was bad there. Like, my opponent didn't do anything terrible. Yeah, I'll just save it as it is. This is this was like one one of my best games I played in a while. Just such a domination. And bishop d5, and then I got his skin in a cage. And game over. I know the engine says c5, e3, d, 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 c, e, d, a6 is a... Ew. Nah, am I? No. I had a great game yesterday in title Tuesday, actually, I think. Uh... I really like the don't take I, I, I think taking C takes D is quite bad actually, you know? I don't like that. Yeah Logan, I don't know. I think I don't know. Just try to play just learn subline sidelines. Yeah, so pretty much it went like this, you went for Jabawa London. Here I like to play A6. Okay, please continue Alison and you're training No 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 no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, so basically A6 A6 Ah uh, Knight of C ninety six. Do not take Play all that stuff, but keep that C and E pawn. It's just much better here, in my opinion. You play bishop d6, then your opponent will most likely have to some point take. Yeah, no, directly. And then basically he takes, and now you are probably just better. This pawn on e3, yeah, because when your pawn has pawn on d4, 95 is more scarier. What position you look in title Tuesday? That was in my round two from yesterday's title Tuesday. And basically here, here, I might have played e4, and you say tactic knight e4, and then take, take, and I ended up a pawn up, and then, like, I really loved how I realized that extra pawn as well. I traded the rooks, then he somehow trapped his own kin, which was funny, and g6 his bishop couldn't move, and this is this, and he was zugzwang, and he just got flat. Like, look at that, that's a total, do total domination of the knight. Bishop cannot move anyway, take, take. Take, take, in b5 from winning, and yeah, otherwise he just loses. So yeah, just play a6, e6, a6, bishop b6, you should be good. Yeah, thank that was, I, I like that. Yeah, so I'll take that. It's a great, uh, it's a shame my opponent didn't let me make him one though. <laughs> it's so unfortunate, but okay. So many games open, let me close. Pow, pew, and this, let me put this game, my game, so delicious. And delicious games with analysis. So 270. Oh, cool. The last one was 269. Okay, yeah. Uh, now let me solve puzzles on uh, chess 24. Yeah, so basically don't 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 play C takes Z. A6. Should be good. Oh, I know this puzzle. No, this is this check, check. Queen just yeah, it's easy. Such an easy puzzle, I get it so many times. Then you check, 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 it's like queen and mate. Nice. Yeah, I got this puzzle like five times already. So check if like king c7, knight e6, so that's the only good move. If king e8, bishop h5, mate. King d6, probably like, I don't know, queen g3 or something, you know. I'm not sure what exactly. 
but it should be good, like Queen G3, I think you're winning. This is, this is, this, and basically he doesn't have any checks. If you move the queen somewhere, the queen b8 is made, and this is, you just made it him anyways. That was a really nice puzzle. I love that one. Oh boy, what is this one though? Uh, let's see. It looks like it should be some sort of, like, let's say, Zug Zwang position. Because, like, whoever moves the king of this pawn, it loses. So I have to do something on the king side. That was insane. Yeah, I had this puzzle so many times, it's like pretty much like muscle memory now. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, so very often on chess 24. Let's see, G, no, F3, G4, G3. Oh, yeah, I, I like endgame puzzles, but some are just way too many calculation, you know? All right, I think F3 is the best move. That, no, it was an F3, okay, yeah. It was F4, I thought F4. Why wasn't you about G, H3? G4, I mean. But, oh, I had H4, ah. And yeah, this... Oh, and I have King A3, right? I could have moved... Yeah, I forgot about King A3. That was a move fight in, in my sleeve. Ah, I forgot about it. Whatever. Uh, let's see what is up here. Uh, no one likes endgame puzzles. No one. No, I like, like, endgame puzzles, but not endgame puzzles. Yeah, I know you You are like, huh? What? Okay, that's Rook F5. And Queen H6 and take, take. That's winning. Queen H6, this. Yeah, but, like, I love... Endgame puzzles when there is like very crazy cool mate. Endgames are the best. Yeah, and tactics, tactics, <sighs> tactics and endgames are goated. Um, but the pawn endgame puzzles when you just like have to calculate every single move exactly. It's like sometimes just way too cons uh, stuff. Yeah, so look at five. If you would take a, he takes f out of knight of five, queen e six, queen g seven, and if that queen e six, that was a really really nice mate. Oh boy. Is this so many? It's another endgame puzzle. Hold on. R what is the difference? From the rook a3. Oh wait, yeah, I rushed here. Rook. Ah, rook a6, rook a2, e1, right? Yeah, rook a2, e1. Okay, I should have spent a bit more time. Uh, okay, now let's think more. Let's see. So. I have rook b8, rook b8, king f7, knight e4, and like knight g5, knight e6. But if rook b8, rook b8, king e7, I have knight f5. The only thing I'm not sure is after take, 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 king f7. If I have anything. Oh, I have knight, yeah, but I'm not sure there. Oh, queen b2 there. Queen b2? Let us see move his queen. I mean, okay, he has knight c7. So everybody, how are you doing today? You already half through the week, even more. So just two more days and a weekend. Yes, let's go. I'm so hyped. Um, maybe it's knight e4 first, and after queen c7 I play. Yeah, I think so. And now queen b2. No, I was knight g5, queen b2. Oh, it was yeah, queen b2. So the ah yeah 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 yeah. yeah. So the rook hangs, and at the same time the queen is, is kind of hanging in the air. What if I just play rookie five though? Hold on, rookie five. If the rook moves, I take the queen, and then the bishop if needed. And if rook e five, yeah, what? Am I missing something? Oh, one more puzzle. That is by far the best type of puzzles. <laughs> No, I love this. When you just make one move puzzle, it's over already. That is so, so nice. Guys, is there anybody who doesn't like one move puzzles? <laughs> I just love them. I don't know. It's something... <laughs> it is something I absolutely love. You know? It's way too good. It's first made. And king e2, queen f1, and king c2, queen e4. <gasps> so nice. Yeah, so basically a force mate. And if you go ski, c2, and there is queen g4, queen e4. Nice. Huh. Let's sing, okay? Let's sing. Guys, do you love one move puzzles or no? Or you don't really like them? I only hope to hear one one answer though, which is yes, okay. <laughs> I, I won't accept no as an answer. <laughs> no, just kidding. 
Uh, be honest, please. Although, like, bishop d6, queen of one, take, take, take. Bishop d6 perhaps just wins, right? No! Probably there was some forced mate, I guess. Ah! Okay. I saw bishop d6, if queen of one, take, take, queen g1, I should be like a pawn up. At least two pawns up, but okay, whatever. If he puzzled side, so didn't think it was good. Let's say queen. Uh, FTC queen g4 queen e6 now rook b7 do we take? and now huh. guys do I have any idea what the move oh oh no wait guys do I have any idea what the move is I'm not so sure it's interesting bishop c4 is possible uh, I guess queen, queen c4, queen e6 as well is possible. I'm not sure, do you have any ideas? I don't know. <laughs> it like, looks like everything should be winning, but you gotta keep in mind that we are in peace down, guys, so gotta be careful. So, Sebastian Schnell, uh, did I. Did I, did you understand how to play about your Bava London or not so much? Pretty much, I yeah, just play a6, e6, knight c6. It's like London, but it's not London, pretty much. I know, I'll probably just take c4. Okay, it was that simple. Yeah, some puzzles are weird. Now I didn't win a single pawn, but <laughs> it was good. Queen c4 would just... Yeah, but bishop c4 equals material as well, it was correct. So, ah, uh, yeah, puzzles are sometimes weird, you know. <laughs> okay, let's see, rook b5 is possible. Oh, you don't go anywhere. I am going to play Komodo. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I love playing Komodo, actually. Rook b5, king a7. Rook f7, yeah! Rook b5. No, but rook b5, king c8. Rook f8, king d8. Hmm. Huh. Oh! Rook f8 for... No, yeah, no, uh... I'm not sure. Rook here, there, this, this. Rook b5, king c8. Uh, yeah, rook b5, king c8 is annoying. Rook f8, yes, rook d8. <gasps> ay, ay, ay. And rook f8, king a7, rook f7, king e8. Uh, oh! I just should draw it! <gasps> Check. Ch no! I should have drawn that. What? Wait, I should have drawn it. What, 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 what? Oh, no! Ah! Yeah, I should have forced him. Because after rook 8, he takes, takes, and he has king b8. No! Yeah, I got the... Oh, no, that's unfortunate. I got the right idea, guys. But... <laughs> I I missed it. No! Wait. Maybe I should draw here as well. I think I found a queen g8, queen e8. Yes, okay. This time, let's draw correctly. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm scared. Ah, this and that, right? Yes! Desperado Queen! Oh, that was a nice puzzle. I loved it. I really did. Uh, let's see what is up here. Oh, that's interesting. Looks like I should maybe deflect the defender, like bishop. Maybe bishop f7 actually is good. Huh. Interesting. 41 years. Wow. What do you think so lot? E6 though. I don't know, I just can't think. Eh, I should have. <laughs> yeah, it was bishop f7. Oh, I missed rook d6. Yeah, I should have went with my intuition. All right. Oh! Does that, guys, 
I think I may found a brilliancy. <gasps> or maybe I didn't. Or maybe I didn't. What about knight to f4? And if he takes my rook, I cannot take because it's mate. But I have knight g6 check. King h7, knight of 8. King h8, queen h7, and then I, I, I gotta try that. Ah, ugh. Ah, that's so nice. Ooh. Smothered mate, yay! Ah, that smothered mate is like really satisfying. Oh, wait a second, is that from. Hi, Arnal, how are you doing? How are you? Brilliancy. And that's, I think, is from Magnus's game. I'll meet with a pawn just for style. Um, but it's from Magnus's game, I'm like 99% sure. Or Magnus had something similar. No, King was on h6, I think. Okay, it was something. Knight of 4, what a move. Yeah, Knight of 4 was a really nice move with this smothered mate idea. I love smothered mates. One of my favorite mating patterns, actually, to be honest. Let's see. Cool. E6, he probably has to take bishop e6. Then I have... Uh, I don't know, knight g7 perhaps? Ah, I'm not so sure. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't go crazy. And maybe I should be crazy. Or maybe I shouldn't be that crazy as I think of being. Hmm, interesting. Guys, any ideas? What is up? Sure. Knight of six eight XF is interesting. I'm not sure. Hmm. Probably solve it's two, four, six. Okay, let's do two more correct puzzles and then I'll play Komodo. Hmm, I'm not sure. I really don't see a move. E6 looks good. But after bishop e6, I'm missing the continuation. <clears throat> oh! I just have no... Don't I? Yeah, knight e5, and this is this, yeah. Basically, knight e5, ideal like queen g5. And if takes, takes, I'm starting queen g7. He has to block, and I get the bishop. Alright, let's go. One more. And then come Uh. Queen g3, king f8. King f8, queen g8, king e7, and I get the rook, don't I? <gasps> and then here I have rook f... Oh, no! A rook f4, yes, should be one, I missed it. Yeah, king h... Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I had to go king h1, rook g1. Yeah, rook f4, I just missed rook b1, perpetual. Ah, oh, that's knight d5, 100%. I don't even have to think. Ah, maybe I do have to think, and g takes f. Yeah. Okay, let me explain that. That puzzle was really nice. So I'm a queen down. Probably most people's reaction is take, but then he takes and position is equal. But I played knight e5. <coughs> Idea to take, and that's gonna be a mate. Idea to take the rook as well. If queen e5, for example, I take the rook, I take other rook, and I'm winning. And if you took here, I take. And now the rook hangs, and the queen hangs. And this, I take the queen. If it takes my knight, I take the rook. That was a nice puzzle solving. And now. Whew, come on, oh, let's go. Let's go. 22, can I get white? I get four back to back black. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go. Knight c6. Wait, I'm three. No, one, two, three. Okay, so it's one, four, three. Ooh, you copiano. <clears throat> ah, he castles. Okay, knight of six. Here, let's play d6. c3, a6. Idea, I like to get his uh, bishop. Okay, here I think bishop a7. b4 is an interesting move, actually. Uh oh. Yeah, so this I'm gonna. I think h6. Like, I haven't castled yet. g5 can be an idea. <coughs> I think castling early sometimes isn't good for. White. G5 is an interesting idea here. Well, let's go for Corton, guys. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure if white cats. Oh, wow. But now I get even G4 and Bishop G4. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I have some good attack. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let's keep the attack going. Let's go. Corton, guys. Cool. <coughs> 
Mm. I don't know, Rook G8 looks like a nice attack continuation. I'm sucking a pawn, but then, yeah, he actually takes it. It looks like some good content. Yeah, let's go! Oh, wow! Does that work? Ooh, maybe knight to e4 works. And then if take, I play queen of six with the idea of bishop f3, and the bishop hangs as well. If we move the bishop, I take them winning. Bishop g5, I take them winning. <gasps> Oh, I'm not sure should I go for more content or should I play more peaceful, you know? Peace, peaceful. I mean, I, I want to crash him, but I'm saying I will play peacefully. Ah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I want to go 94, that looks so nice. But maybe I'm missing something. Now I'll go 94. Maybe that's a bad move, I'm not sure. Let's see. And now queen to f6. I did to take that in bishop f3. And now I think I can take, can't I? And if take, I take. All right, I'll take. <laughs> Maybe this game won't last too long. I'm not sure. That looks crazy, though. Looks very good. I will see. Why do we just play rook h6 this now? Hold on. Just like I should be winning, so we're so close. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, yeah, like, queen h6 first, perhaps, or rook h5 first. Huh, don't know. Rook h5, queen h6, rook h1. Rook h5, queen b3 is there. Then I guess, okay, I'll play rook h5. I want to smash him real quick. I play b5, but wait, queen h6? Isn't game over after queen h6? I'm missing something. Take, take. 95 by take, 95 this. Oh, check here. What is that? Uh, I think I'm winning. One oh, castling. No, no, no. I think I should be winning somewhere. Oh, but wait, isn't it just forced win? Yes, let's go! That was the best! Wow! <laughs> I played so good today. Let's go! Okay, I'll take. Wow! Yes, yeah, so I went for a great attack and it worked. And now, and now queen h4 and mate is forced. Oh my goodness! Let's go! <laughs> no, that is the best game against Kalona by far. Wow! Oh, that was such a nice attack. Oh, wow, look at that. G5, G4. I, I sacked my knight. Let's go. <gasps> that was so cool. Yeah, he played B5. That was like last hope. I don't know what it was that even, to be honest. And yeah. Wow. I beat Komodo in 25 moves, didn't I? 23 even. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Let's see, did, it was 94 a brilliance, or maybe it wasn't good. I mean, 94 was just so human. <laughs> human, just a second, I you know. <laughs> yeah, but I did just take the pawn, and queen of six as well. Yes! 94 was a brilliance, let's go! D5 was a mistake, apparently. He had to go for B... Ah! So he had to counter me. Yeah, so I go on king side, he goes on queen side, and it's good. But after that, 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 bishop G4... I go rook g8, but this 34 was winning. Oh my goodness, that was a brilliant game! Wow! I loved it. 95.5 accuracy for me and 76.8 for him. Zero brain moves for him, one for me. Why do it for him? Two for me. Seven was for him, nine for me. Three action for him, two for me. Two good move for him, zero for me. Six minutes for each of us, one next for each of us, two mistakes for him, one for me, one miss for him, zero for me, and zero ones for each of us. 95.5 and I crashed Komodo. Guys, keep in mind that computers do not resign. I made it Komodo 22 in 23 moves. Guys, I think maybe that's gonna be a clip on YouTube. What do you think? I think that may be a new episode on YouTube. That should have been great. Yeah, that was like very quick. What do you think? Insane. Yeah, that was very nice. Yeah, probably not this, probably B5. Mm, I'm not sure. Bishop e6 as well looks nice. Guys, yeah, should I? 
And do you think, should I plot beaten Komodo in 23 moves? What do you think? Oh no, nah. I think I want to do it. That should be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just remember that basically, be careful with white for casting sure. All right, okay. Yeah, but I miss B. I don't know what to play actually, to be fair. Hint? I just castled. Ah, okay. <laughs> just such a castle. I sleep loose thinking about some crazy, crazy stuff. And here I should have played rook g8. Yeah, I have a nice idea actually. Yeah, and rook g8 and knight e4. Oh, such a nice move. And a queen of six is just game over. And rook g5. And then queen h6, mate in 30 is unstoppable. And this is this, and he just had to sacrifice it. Wow. Ah. Uh, today was such a brilliant day. I played like a nil deal deal game against Life Opponent. And yeah, now I played a brilliant game against Komodo. Beat him in 23 moves with black. Unbelievable. But okay, I think with that. I will end the stream. Guys, it was epic. We had like 51 viewers at peak. Thank you guys, everybody, so, so much for watching. Uh, oh, Sherlock4581. Thank you for the follow. I missed it. And also, Will3304, Pyocat, random gen name. Whoa, I didn't get notifications. I'm sorry, Lemon Pony, TLG Moiji. Then I1IT1D, Su1LKY, random gen name, Pyocket, T Street 703, Will C 304, and Sherlock, thank you for the false finishing. Oof, I'm sorry, Oracle, yeah. But I had some great. I had a great stream. Let me show a recap real quick, okay? I had like one of the best streams ever, you know? So. I, I played, I lost a game against Life Opponent, I didn't play so well, then I won a game against Life Opponent, I was with White, it was such a pure domination, this, 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 I put my queen on d6, I was just aiming to make his rook and bishop move, that, 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 and then I put my rook into play, and then f4 takes six takes, and you remember I told you that this bishop and rook, hope they wouldn't move, and they were just stuck forever, and then, yeah, it was a mating pattern, and my opponent resigned one move before mate. <laughs> that was unfl unfortunate. Then I saw some puzzles, um, and then I played against Komodo with Ray Lopez, and I decided to go for an attack with h6, g5, because I know if white castles, you can try that. Here he had b5, though, it wouldn't work, but he played h3, I got g4, and now look, rook g8, and then knight e4 sack in the knight, takes queen of six. And now basically the bishop hangs and the knight hangs. So I played rook g5, then I took. This is this, queen h6, and then he was already forced mate. Take, 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 and I mate. I beat Komodo in 20 moves. That was perfect. Yeah, so it was a great stream. And yeah, Marco Batman said the trophy. Thank you, thank you. Party time. Thank you. Yes, it was actually a great party. And yeah, everybody, thank you so, so much for hanging out today. Uh, who do I read though? Yes, what do you think? I'm not sure. Anybody you want me to rate? No, no. <laughs> Any ideas? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much, Karma, for 250 bits. Even if I missed it here. Thanks a lot, Karma, for this word. And also, Lorgan, 500 bits early on today. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, even if I missed it. But yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, Oracle. As soon as up, you can probably re-watch it, I think. Can't you? I'm pretty sure you can, right? I think so. Guys, who am I reading? Does anybody have anything? I'm not sure. I have Tranquilizer. But I'm not sure. Do I read Tranquilizer? I don't see anybody else, to be honest. What do you think? Do you have anybody you want me to read? Nobody I follow, to be honest. Yeah. Any yeah, yes? Yes, that was a great stream. Nil, nil, nil. Game against life open in 31 moves, then perfect game against Komodo, great puzzle solving, and yeah, I really hope you guys liked it. I don't know who I'm rating though. I mean, I can read Tranquilizer in time alone pretty much, let's see in the stream. No, it's just Tranquilizer. Yeah, any ideas guys? Nope, sorry, don't know any of them. Alright, 
I probably would then raid Tranquilizer because I don't know who else to raid. Tranquilizer, I guess, yeah. Yeah, same. So, everybody, we have to pick up 51 viewers on daily trading, and I think. Thank you guys, everybody, for watching. Uh, it was really active chat, was really active stream. I really enjoyed streaming. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you had a lot of fun, and you maybe learned a scene or two, you know? Um, everybody, join the Discord to not miss when I'll stream and what I'll stream. Everybody, Thank you so, so much for hanging out. Thanks all for the follows for bits. I really hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Thanks all for coming, I guess. Uh, yeah, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Oracle and Levit. Bye, Karma. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Marco Batman. Bye, Jonathan Jesus. Bye, Anurag. Bye, uh, I don't know. Bye, Logan. Bye, Peculiar State. Bye, Sebastian Chanel. Bye, everybody who was here. Take care. Watch your Bye, bye. Take care, everybody. See you all tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. And bye, bye.